Hey guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machine and Performance. I'm going to walk you through how to do a proper compression test on an engine. Um, one of the main things I tell people, if you're going to be diagnosing your own stuff, I recommend getting good tools. This is a Mako gauge. You should end up getting a Mako, Snap-on, Mac. Any of the big three are great. There's a few other companies that make good stuff as well, but stay away from Harbor Freight, the cheapo gauges, because they just aren't accurate. You can also pick up used compression gauges for under 100 bucks normally, and just replace the straighter valves, and they're good as new. I can't stress that enough. I've had a whole bunch of customers take engines apart bring me cylinders for me to machine I check them out and they're totally fine we put it back together test it with a real gauge and everything's okay if you do have a cheap gauge and you don't have the money to buy another one the one thing you want to be looking for is that the compression's even so normally even if you're low or high the compression being even is showing the engine's fine it's pretty rare for an engine to blow both holes evenly within a couple PSI. So what we're going to do, we take both spark plugs out. Thread it in. Go tight. Hook up your gauge. Go ahead and set this here because let's see where we can set it so you can see it. Now I don't know if you can see this over here, so we're going to hold the throttle wide open and then crank it. So right there, we're about 212. Open this up, go to the other hole. Drop it in, tighten it, set this back down where we can see it, wide open throttle again, and this one is at 240. Now this is showing one thing that's really common, this is a fresh motor with zero hours on it. So a lot of people would see this and be scared. It's actually nothing to be scared of. Before the ring seat, the compression can vary greatly. It could be the amount of oil in the holes. So you could see 30, 40, 50 pounds compression difference on, you know, this is a high performance motor. It doesn't really say anything. I'm just doing this video to show you how to do it. I normally don't personally check compression until there's at least a tank to two tanks of gas run through it. Because at that point, the rings have set and it's going to give you an honest compression ratio. Uh, honest compression, sorry. Other thing with compression gauges, there's some cheap gauges that end up having like a plastic taper that you just push on the spark plug hole. For this type of work, it's silly to even use it. It's not accurate enough. You're not going to get a good reading. So pick up a decent gauge, put it together, test away. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys later. Let's hear this bad bitch fire up. Be a shit.